So anybody that works on cars for a living or just kind of as a hobby on the side, you know what this is for. This is a smoke leak detector. And this is from Andyman. It's, of course, smoke leak detector. And the part number is JS108. Uh, basically, you know, your check engine light comes on. You do a code scan and it says small evap leak or large evap leak or things like that. And it's like, how am I going to figure out where that's at? Because it's not very descriptive. Is it the gas cap? Is it a purge valve? Is it a vacuum line? How are you going to find that without just throwing a whole bunch of parts at it? That's where this guy comes in. And for the price... This will save you a trip to the dealership or the car dealer or just to your local mechanic. At least you can detect the part, see where it's wrong, and hopefully replace it very inexpensively. Uh, so I tell you what, let's see what you get in the box. So we'll crack this guy open. And I've been needing one of these for a long time. I actually had a Nissan, and I always had small evap leak. And you replace the purge valve, you replace the uh, gas cap, and... Where's the leak at? You know, did I fix it? And then the light comes back on and you're just going to spend a lot of time and money and wasting a lot of time and money replacing parts just randomly. So you're going to get the parts box and then the unit right here, all nicely packaged. So let's see what's getting the box. And this should be all the uh, caps. Of course, you're going to get the instructions here. Like I said, this guy is inexpensive enough that uh, it's definitely worth getting it and trying this first before you take your car to the, the mechanic, uh, at least to kind of diagnose it yourself. Uh, basically, you turn it on, uh, you get all the little accessories, plug it into your uh, vacuum lines or your emission system, and you should get some smoke coming out somewhere. Okay, we're going to get all the little caps. And these are kind of like for plugging up different holes. Uh, I think this is also for... Let's get them open here. Come on, open up. There we go. So you can plug up your exhaust and fill your exhaust up with uh, smoke, see if you got an exhaust leak, those kind of things. Uh, different plugs, They're kind of like little stoppers. And here's for your smoke. You can generate smoke out of here. Actually, you can generate smoke out of all these, except this one and this one. So yeah, you can hook up to this one. And you get some smaller nozzles. Just little caps, little caps, uh, more caps. That's kind of nice to have a nice assortment. So what you want to do is you want to plug up all the leaks or all the, the all the known leaks, like big holes. You want to make sure those are plugged up because you want to see where the small leaks at. And then we're going to get the hose. It looks like the power leads. So what you do is you clip this on and power it through your 12 volt battery on your car. Okay, get a little bottle. This is where you're going to put your uh, your smoke juice and mineral oil. Is basically what it is. But you can go buy, buy a specific uh, a smoke fluid for your machine. Little hanging hook so you can hang it from your, your hood. And here's for your 12 volt. So you're going to plug this into your, clip this on your batteries. Oh, very nice. And then this goes into the machine, the other end here. Looks like we get a little little wrench here and of course the hose and oh another piece of hose very nice so we're going to assemble all this together and take a look at it like i said i've been wanting one of these for quite a long time and now's the time to get it and here's the machine here's what we're looking for of course it's the andyman smoke leak detector it's got a looks like a power light a smoke light a on off switch Here's where you hook up the power. Outlet flue, so this is where you're gonna hook up your hose. So you can put your hose on there. And all the vents on it, more vents. So this is pretty straightforward. And here's uh, uh, oil fill. So you're gonna put your oil in here. There we go, put your oil in there for the smoke. And then of course we're gonna have the little hanger. You can put him in there. So I think what you want to do is you want to turn him up, screw him in. Yeah, this just makes it easy to use when you're under the hood. You can hang it from your hood and not have to set it on anything. There you go. So we can hang it that way. Really nice. And we got to see what this guy does. Yeah, I guess we should read the manual. Read the manual. It's definitely worth it. Uh, you can see smoke switch. It's pretty pretty self-explanatory. Uh, uh, here's the operation method. And then we're going to assemble the hose. 
So I guess you can do a couple different things if you like to. I guess you can put this on here like that. This will also be good for like checking leaks in your um, in your home. You can kind of generate some smoke, see if you've got any window leaks. Be kind of cool to do that also. So we're gonna put the little cap through here. There we go. Put the hose on, like so. There we go, and then we'll screw them down. Attach the hose, I'm not gonna crank this down, I'll just kind of be just enough, tight enough so it ain't gonna come off. Looks pretty good. And that's about it. So it's nice you get some other some other pieces and parts, some other different adapters. But all in all, very nice, very straightforward. It's basically on off. Generate smoke or don't generate smoke. So quite a nice. It's actually not too heavy. So let's get some oil, put some oil in it. Okay, got some smoke fluid in here. And take the little cap off. Always put a little bit in there. Not sure how much you need to put in. That should be enough to get it started. So I tell you what, let's go outside and give this a test because I'm kind of curious how, how this works and how much smoke it's going to put out. I do like the long hose. That's kind of nice. You can see it's kind of got different edges on here so you can put in different size uh, hosing. So that's kind of nice. And also, I guess if you can do this, if you want to fill up your exhaust, you can put it in here, plug up your exhaust, and you'll see where there's any kind of exhaust leaks coming out. That's kind of cool. I think that's the, there's one more. Yeah, here's another one here. You can do kind of like, you know, kind of stick it in maybe spark plug hole or something. Not sure what that one's for. But they all have a different use, different different caps and plugs. Kind of neat. So to it, let's cap this up. And let's go and let's connect to the car and give her a test. So you want to connect to your battery. That's the first thing you want to do. So positive and negative. And you'll see. power now and if we turn it on get a little uh, air compressor go and it should start getting smoke fairly quickly now I see it there it is kind of see it hard to see in the light that's a little windy out so you might see a little being blown away, but it's doing pretty good. There we go. So, so within less than a minute, you have smoke. There we go. <clears throat> Very nice. And so, like I said, what you do, you plug this into a vacuum line, and that's what all these little ridges are for, different size vacuum lines, or you can plug into your exhaust with the caps. And you're gonna fill up your vacuum lines and your engine kind of uh, vacuum system with smoke and wherever smoke leaks out, that's where your leaks at. Same with your exhaust, you can do it through the exhaust or you can do it through uh, otherwise. I think this would be really good also for just uh, like in your home, you can test for window leaks, things like that. There we go, now we're really getting some good smoke. It's been about a minute now. You can see quite a lot of smoke. So this guy is going to work really well. Uh, like I said, if you got a vacuum leak, plug this in, and this should detect or show you kind of where the leak's at because uh, it's it's actually it doesn't even come out hot. It's just kind of like a cold smoke almost. Very nice. But yeah, it is quite uh, quite smoky. You can see that it's basically two settings: power, smoke. And that's all you really need. Some of the fancy ones have a lot more dials and things like that. Uh, but if, like for the home mechanic, I think this would be perfect. Or just somebody does it on the side. This is a tool you, you almost have to have detect uh, different um, evap leaks and uh, vacuum leaks, things like that, which you would just never be able to find just by guessing. So it's been about a minute now. You can see a lot of smoke coming out of this. Uh, this thing's going to work really well. I don't have any leaks right now on this guy. So you, if I plugged it into a vacuum line, you want to see it. But that, basically what you do, you plug into your vacuum line or your emission lines, those kind of things, or like your exhaust with some of the bigger caps. 
and just look for the smoke where the smoke's coming out uh, that's where the leaks at and this is a uh, one tool without this tool you cannot find uh, evap leaks without just kind of guessing unless you can physically see something but for the price of this uh, versus one visit to a mechanic this easily pays for itself twice over and uh, what I like about this it's basically on off you can see it's got a power smoke so if you want to turn off the smoke just turn off the smoke and if you want to back on away you go and this kind of just went straight up to a full smoke in less than a minute and it's not hot or anything so it's never going to damage any vacuum lines or any any emission systems and you can also put this into your gas cap the one through one of the caps and see if your gas tank has a pinhole leak anywhere so really cool very nice so there you go that's the smoke detector from andyman uh, what a great device pick one up